Hello, this is Mike Kilgore from Trident, uh, getting together with you today. We've been having a lot of conversation about dilution ratios and the difference between a D2 and a D1 ratio. So, I want to tell you how to mix it. This is what this email is all, or this video is all about, is how to mix a D2 solution compared to a D1 solution. So it's both going to be inside of this video, so make sure you watch uh, both dilution ratios. So what we've done here is I've put together four pails. The first pail, when you order a kit of Cat5, you're going to get five gallons of Part A, and you're going to get two gallons of Part B. So pull those out of here. Okay. There's one. And here is two. So you're getting five gallons of Part A, and you're getting two gallons. It's a seven-gallon kit. Okay. So now that we're looking at having a D2 solution, these would be empty pails. So we have one full pail, and these are empty pails. I used part B's as a demonstration because there's a reason why that's coming up here shortly. So let's say, for instance, that you want to mix 20 gallons of D2, because D2, which will provide great joint stabilization, great enhancement, as well as a light sheen to it, that's going to be a D2. When we're talking about D, we mean dilution, dilution 2. When we talk about D1, we're meaning dilution 1. Now on the back of the Part Bs, there's going to be an actual chart here that talks about square footage between the difference of joint stabilization or without joint stabilization. So that means are you putting sand into the joint and using the sealer to harden it, or Maybe there's, uh, it's been concrete tipped in, or it doesn't need to be. It's travertine, and you don't have to put sand inside of it. One of those reasons, or any reason at all, maybe it already has polymeric sand into the joints, or you have polymeric sand that you put into it, so you're not having to harden the sand into the joints. Then you can do it without joint stabilization. So you can look at this chart, and it's going to give you the exact how many parts A, and how many parts B, and how many parts of water will give you a rough estimate of square footage. Now remember, that's also based on porosity of the pavers and of course site conditions. So, you have this and this. What we're going to do is we're going to make 20 gallons of D2 solution. We're going to take two and a half gallons of the Part A and we're going to put it in to a separate pail. So now we have two and a half gallons in this one, and two and a half gallons in this one. Then we're going to pour the urethane into this bucket. And then we're going to mix it for one to two minutes. Okay? So we're going to mix this for one to two minutes. Now we have three and a half gallons here. Then we're going to take this other gallon and put it into the two and a half gallons of part A that is now inside here. Pour it inside of here. And by doing so, we now have three and a half gallons. And we're going to also mix that for two and a half minutes. Okay? Or a minute to, to two minutes. Now that we have three and a half gallons in this one, three and a half gallons in this one, you can very equally put in all four containers that we have here, equally distributed across all four, the mixtures that are inside here. So you're going to have seven gallons across all four of them here. By doing so, you're going to see a tag that's right here that says D2. 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 All the levels should be equal with on the pail that's here, it says D2. Okay? So, we made it very simple for you to have one pail but be able to mix it across all of them. Once you have now put them all across, all four, to that same line that says D2, all the way across, then you're going to add water up to the five gallon mark. Up to the five gallon mark. Up to the five gallon mark and up to the five gallon mark, okay? 
Now that you've done that, you're going to mix for another minute to two minutes inside of each one. Well, now we're talking about mixing. We're not talking about making butter, right? We're talking about giving it a nice mix. Get it to turn. Get it to move. You'll see it go. But we're not trying to make butter, as we like to say, and whip a bunch of air into the product itself. By doing so, now you have 20 gallons of D2. Okay? So now let's say, for instance, that you wanted to make one more pail, or you needed to make a pail and you wanted to make two gallons, or you needed to make one more pail. If you need to make two gallons, okay, of D2, you're going to do a half of a kid. Okay? So you're going to take two and a half gallons, put it into a pail, close this off, okay? And then now that you have two and a half gallons inside of here, you close this off. You set that with the other can off to the side. Then you're going to take one of the cans here, the Part B, pour it into the two and a half gallons. Once you poured that into two and a half gallons, now you have three and a half gallons of concentrate. You're going to mix that. Okay? Mix it for a minute to two minutes. Now you have three and a half gallons of concentrate. You're going to separate that into two pails, okay? So you have three and a half gallons of concentrate. Put it inside of this, so now you have two of them in here. Fill those up with water, and now you have a half of a kit of D2 solution. Let's say, for instance, you needed to make one pail because you're like, I need just one more pail. You're going to put a gallon and a half of part A I'm sorry, a gallon and a quarter, 1.25 gallons of part A, a half of a gallon of part B into this pail, and then fill, fill the rest of it up with water, and after you mix the part A and the part B, once you fill it all the way up to the top, now you have one pail of D2 solution. Okay? So that's how you can make your D2 solution. Now, people also want to know, how do you make D1? How do you make dilution 1? It's pretty simple. All we're going to do is take away a pail. Now remember, these are empty. That was empty. I just use this for demonstration purposes here. But you're going to still get 5 gallons of part A, 2 gallons of part B. You're going to take your part A. You're going to put 2.5 gallons into this pail, just like what we did before. You're going to then take your one gallon of part A, of part B, pour it in. So now you have three and a half gallons. Pour this one in to where you have three and a half gallons. And then you're going to mix for a minute to two minutes each one of those. You still have seven and a half gall seven gallons of concentrate. Now that you have the seven gallons of concentrate, you're going to equally distribute it across Right here on this tab here, you're going to see D1. So D1, D1, and the equivalent of here would be D1. So now instead of taking that solution and moving it across four, you're going to move it across three. And that's how you make a D1 solution. If you're looking to make one pail of D1 solution, okay, you're going to put 1.75 gallons of part A, and you're going to put two-thirds of a gallon of part B into this one pail. Mix it for a minute to a minute and a half to two minutes, then add water up to the top. And now you have one pail of D1 solution. So I hope that clarifies a lot of things of how to mix a D2 and a D1. The difference between the D2 and the D1 is that you're going to go from a great joint stabilization, great enhancement, great nice little sheen to it that's there, to the optimal joint stabilization, to incredible deep, deep enhancing colors, and then of course you're going to increase your sheen and shine dramatically. Now, we are going to talk about application in other, other videos, but this one is just about how to mix the sealer. So, if you have any questions, reach out to us on Facebook or on phone, or visit us on our website at tridentprotects.com.